السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم إن الحمد لله نحمده ونستعينه ونستغفره ونعوذ بالله من شرور أنفسنا ومن سيئات أعمالنا إنه من يهده الله فلا مضل له ومن يضلل فلا هادي له وأشهد أن لا إله إلا الله وحده لا شريك له وأشهد أن محمدا عبده ورسوله أما بعد فإن أصدق الحديث كتاب الله تعالى وخير الهدي هدي محمد صلى الله عليه وآله وسلم وشر الأمور محدثاتها وكل محدثة بدعة وكل بدعة ضلالة وكل ضلالة في النار أما بعد ما جيء Sisters in Islam The topic is about the hijab And the one who imposed the hijab on you is your creator Your Lord The one whom you worship the one you believe in so wearing the hijab is ibadah it is ibadah because by doing so you are obeying your creator who commanded you to do it It is not your husband who commands you to wear the hijab. Or your father, or your brother. It is Allah who created you. And to him you will return. And before him you will stand. And you will be held accountable for all your deeds. So the Muslimah. She wears the hijab because it is ibadah. Her creator commanded her to wear it. And she wears it to please Allah Azza wa Jal and Allah only. This beautiful deen al-Islam which Allah Azza wa Jal has chosen for us and we should be always grateful to him and thankful for making us Muslims because this deen he chose it for us and my dear sister something Allah chose it for you you reject it he created you he knows what is the best for you, what is good for you. Anyone who has common sense, who uses his intelligence, will say, of course, something Allah has chosen for me must be good for me. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says in the Quran اليوم أكملت لكم دينكم وأتممت عليكم نعمتي ورضيت لكم الإسلام دينا اليوم أكملت لكم دينكم this day I completed your deen وأتممت عليكم نعمتي and I completed my نعمة my blessing my bounties favors on you وَرَضِيتُ لَكُمُ الْإِسْلَامَ دِينًا And I have chosen Al-Islam, the submissiveness and the way of submission to my will as a way of life for you. So it is something He has chosen for us. And He knows. Unless you are saying Allah doesn't know. If you are, think that Allah doesn't know, that we, time will come, 
when things will change, then there's no need for the hijab. Because the hijab becomes a hindrance for you. If you think along that line, then you check your Islam. Because such thinking that will take you out of the fold of Islam. And you will land in the blazing fire. But if you want the Jannah, which is prepared for the righteous, then you follow what your Creator has commanded you. This deen is complete, perfect, has no deficiencies, a code of life, governs every aspect in our life, etc. Also, my dear sisters, before we delve and start commenting on the, and talking about the hijab, we have to follow the footsteps of Prophet Muhammad sallallahu and the footsteps of his companions, Sahaba. Because the Prophet ﷺ said, the best generations are my generation than the ones to follow and the ones to, to come after that. So they are the first three generations are the best of mankind. Apart from the prophets and messengers of Allah. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says in Surah An-Nisa, and I want every sister to memorize this ayah. Read this ayah, memorize it, understand it. Surah An-Nisa, that is Surah number 4, ayah 115. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, وَمَن يُشَاقِقِ الرَّسُولَ مِن بَعْدِ مَا تَبَيَّنَ لَهُ الْهُدَى وَيَتَّبِعْ غَيْرَ سَبِيلِ الْمُؤْمِنِينَ نُوَلِّهِ مَا تَوَلَّى وَنُصْلِهِ جَهَنَّمَ وَسَاءَتْ مَصِيرًا وَمَن يُشَاقِقِ الرَّسُولَ And whoever contends, resists, opposes the messenger. صلى الله عليه وسلم من بعد ما تبين له الهدى after the guidance the huda has come to him and has been explained thoroughly to him تبين له الهدى and yet ويتبع غير سبيل المؤمنين are you following ويتبع غير سبيل المؤمنين and he follows a path other than the way or the path of the mu'mineen. Nuwallihi ma tawalla. We shall leave him in the path of the way he has chosen. Wa nuslihi jahannama. And will make him taste the chastisement, the torment, the punishment of the hellfire. Wa nuslihi jahannama. Wa sa'at masira. What an evil destination, what an evil abode. The question I want to ask you now, my dear sisters. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, وَيَتَّبِعْ غَيْرَ سَبِيلِ الْمُؤْمِنِينَ And he follows other than the sabil, the way of the mu'mineen. When this ayah came down, 1400 years ago, who are the mu'mineen that this ayah is talking about? Who are they? Who are they? The Sahaba, the companions. It is the, talking about the Sahaba. So if you adopt or follow 
a way different than the way of the Sahaba, you bear the consequences. نُوَلِّهِ مَا تَوَلَّى We shall leave you in that way you have chosen. وَنُصْلِهِ جَهَنَّمْ So if you want to understand the deen, you understand deen al-Islam as it was understood by the Prophet ﷺ and his companions and the generations to follow. We cannot understand al-Islam more than Abu Bakr and Umar and Uthman and Ali and Talha and Zubair. Who has the guts, the gut to say, I can understand the deen better than Abu Bakr? The companions who learned the deen directly from the Prophet ﷺ, Immediately, they hear the sayings of the Prophet ﷺ and he is telling them, do this, do that. The companions who saw the miracles of the Prophet ﷺ happening before their eyes, they saw that. One day, the Prophet ﷺ. He took in his hand pebbles, small stones, and they were saying, Subhanallah, Subhanallah, Subhanallah. He put them in the hand of Abu Bakr, Subhanallah, Subhanallah, Subhanallah. In the hand of Umar, Subhanallah, Subhanallah. Those are the Sahaba. They learned this deen from the Prophet ﷺ. A Sahabi is not in need to know whether this hadith is sahih or not, authentic or not, because he heard it from the Prophet ﷺ. A Sahabi is not in need to go to the dictionary and check what's the meaning of this word. Are you following? Because it is his mother tongue. So the correct understanding is the understanding of the Sahaba Radwanullah alayhim. If someone in the 21st century he wants to understand the deen better than the Sahaba then he needs to see a psychiatrist. Yes, you have to understand this. Someone when he wants to understand the hadith, he will go and open many books to know the meaning of the hadith. And yet he claims that he can understand the deen better than the companions of the Prophet So we have to keep this in our minds. Also, my dear sisters, when Allah Azza wa Jal and his prophet decreed a matter and decided a matter no one has any choice except to say we hear and we obey that's it that's the meaning of al-islam muslim someone who submits surrenders gives up that's the meaning of it. We give up to the will of Allah. Allah says, do this, that's it. Today we hear some sisters, I am not convinced about the hijab. MashaAllah, <laughs> tabarakallah. You know what is coming of your head or you don't know? You know the implication or you don't know? That means you are saying goodbye to Al-Islam. That means you are leaving Al-Islam. 